What's up, everyone, and welcome back to the Leftovers podcast. I'm Joe. I'm Charlie. And uh, a couple of hot topics this week. We've got mm-hmm. the Falcon and the Winter Soldier. We've got... Solid episode. It was a good episode. And also, mm. Con versus Godzilla, or Godzilla versus Con, whichever way around it was. Yeah. I can't remember. I think it's Godzilla versus I think Kong, it is Godzilla but anyway. But anyway. Yeah, we've um, got quite a lot to talk about that, but that'll be later on in the episode. Yeah. Um, uh, but to begin with, we're going to quickly uh, go over football. Yeah, uh, England are now finished, and yep. international duty international is now finished. Is finally over, thank God. Um, <laughs> Played some really, really tough teams, I have to say. Um, it really brought out the best in the players, and uh, San Marino really took us to work, and so did it. Albania and uh, Poland. That was the easiest game by far. I think you're talking absolute <laughs> rubbish. Um, I know. <laughs> yeah, um, yeah, but uh, we. When did we play Poland? Was it Wednesday night? Wednesday night. Yeah. Um, uh, yeah. So we won two one. We were one 0 up, and then John Stones, an absolute shambles. Oh, absolutely knew it. What? Great all season. Comes doing? to England, cocks up. To be fair, it's only one mistake, and he and we got but away. But then with he it. did provide the assist, didn't he? Exactly, the the centre back Maguire's linking up, slabbed. Even though he he bodied it in, but you know, <laughs> yeah. I mean, to be fair, his head probably would have produced the same amount of power. To be honest, if he had it that, <laughs> his head would have Boom. broken the net. Yeah, exactly. Gone through the back of he would have gone through Chesney and through the bloody stadium. Um, I mean, I mean, I'm good. he hasn't been great with his head in terms of uh, he's had loads of cities he's missed for United, but you know, turns out for yeah. England. Uh, but we're top of the table for the Euro qualifiers, um, mm-hmm. which is very nice. Um, was that three wins out of three now? Yep, three so, wins from three. I think Poland drew, didn't they? Poland. I think they did. Yeah, I think you're right. Um, so I thought, what we like? I don't even check the table. Five points clear or something? I don't know. I, I think so. I think so. Doesn't really matter. Yeah. Basically, we don't. We, we, don't, we don't give a f- easy. Pickings. We don't give a crap about <laughs> international. To be honest. Um, but <laughs> the Premier League is back. We'll quickly go over them because there are a couple of tasty fixtures. To be fair, we've got uh, Leicester versus Man City. Mm-hmm. First versus second. That would be interesting. We've got Arsenal Liverpool, who are battling for big top game, four. Big, big, big. Game. Uh, what else we got? We've got. Uh, I was going to say Newcastle, Tottenham, but Newcastle are definitely going to lose. Um, and then Man United, Brighton. That was a good game last season, wasn't it? Because the controversial goal Brian, after what, the ninety-eighth minute penalty, <laughs> saying where it uh, was after full time. <laughs> yeah, we watched that together, didn't we? And we were like, "What the hell is going on?" <laughs> yeah. Oh. I, I just how long ago was that? It's got be... Oh god, that was early in the season. Oh, it's got to be start, yeah. Yeah, that that was early in the season. Let me let me try and find it. But that yeah, that would have been well when yeah. Must have been. Uh it was it was at the end of September. No, it wasn't. That's the one thing. Yeah, well, no, it was at the end of September. Yeah, it was. It was right. It was like about a 20, month into 20... the season or something. Yeah, it was. Or a couple months in or something. Yeah, well, it was like the third the f- no, second fixture. It was the second second game in the, late in the season. Yeah. Or the third, because Man United started late, didn't they? Because they lost to they lost to Crystal Palace at home. <laughs> um, yeah, I know, right? Um, but yeah, not not really much to talk about the football. Um, Liverpool will get top four, but anyway. Uh, Pompey will be in the Premier League in the next two years. Huh? <laughs> no. Um, that... Okay. Right. Cardi Brothers are doing well though, but um, up the Blues. Anyway, let's move on to. Falcon, Falcon Soldier. Soldier, yes. Um, quite a good episode. I I, I enjoyed it. I enjoyed it. Um, not too many yeah, action solid. scenes, but no. Yeah. Again, I enjoyed it. I liked the character development. I liked how obviously you had the kind of like banter and the funny side, but also the serious side to Sam and Bucky's kind of like friend yeah. relationship. But then I liked how they like brought in Zemo and they kind of like they used them used him really well as as a trio. He didn't just feel like an outsider in terms of like Sam and. Um, Bucky would constantly take the piss out of him, or he would Zemo wouldn't be funny. Like it was, it was kind of like they set the tone really, really well with those three. And I felt like yeah. each character they kind of like held their own, and he, they introduced Zemo like again, like really, really well. Mm. Yeah, definitely, definitely. Um, I quite like, I quite like the uh, like the scene where it was like Bucky was saying like hypothetically, if we were to get Zemo, if we were to help Zemo escape, and then mm. <laughs> and then Sam was like. 
what the fuck did you do, bro? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but, no, yeah, I th- again, I, I agree with what you said. I think the char- character development was really good. The way they reintroduced Zemo as well was good. Um, yeah. He's finally donned his purple mask as well, which is good. Um, Sharon Carter's back. We sh- we yeah, she finally saw her again. It, that, the, bit I, uh, the bit that I'm a bit confused by was at the end, uh, spoilers by the way, at the end mm. uh, of the cargo scene where there was the, the um, well, not cargo, but the, um, what are they called? She's a bad Containers. Ass, Containers. Mm-hmm. Yeah, oh, She's yeah. She's a black she, widow. She, she, she beat them up good, bro. <laughs> but, um, her and Black Widow, mate, fucking have it. Yeah, damn. That'll be ridiculous. Well, it's only, it's only her now, isn't it? Because Black Widow's. Uh... They might make her to be like the new Black Widow or something. I don't know. Now that one's dead, so. Nah, nah, she's, she's Agent Fertile. She's a. No, they won't, they won't, they won't make her like name the Black Widow, but you know, like her sort of like character in terms oh, see, of like being going rogue and stuff and, um, mm. you know, oh, on her ones karate kicking the hell out of people or whatever. Yeah. Um, yeah, I did like her in the. Uh, I think we'll see her more in the series um, because oh, she's, yeah. she's not allowed back in the states, is she? Well, and obviously this, she cut a deal with Sam. Well, this is the this is the question I was going to ask because at the end of when they were they met up that guy that had the super soldier serum and or who made it rather, um, where and then after the fight, and Zemo was like, "Nope, off. you're dead." Yeah, yeah, but and then they, and then she and then they drove off. She went around and met up with somebody, but. I didn't know if it was that was that somebody that she knows what, what what's the place called I can't remember what the place is called but that at where she is now or is that like actually the US government and yeah, she's I she just was double bluffing them the place and where she, she was because they, 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 everyone was taking like, oh Wolverine's going to appear because that's where he's in the thing no, <laughs> in I, the knew, comics and that, I knew I was like, he it's not going to happen he wasn't going to appear no it, it wasn't it, it wasn't going to appear a, it began with an I'm just trying to say like Mad- um, Madripoor that was name of the place Metropole wasn't it Madripoor yeah. Madripoor yeah yeah, yeah Madripoor yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, yeah, um, yeah I liked it all at the nightlife and stuff um, like the scenery and um, I liked the confrontation I liked especially like uh, Carter's scene when she like smashed up everyone oh yeah um, I mean, no, but, um, because the the scene, uh, the clip in the trailer, uh, when she like beats them all up, that scene, that to me is a better shot of the scene than the one that they actually used in the in the uh, in the episode, because in the in the mm. in the thing they did it from like uh, eye level, and you can kind of see it all in one shot, and I really like that that kind of camera work. Whereas the one where it's like in the air, like a bird's eye view, it just doesn't doesn't work as well. Um, mm. But anyway, that, that's just me being picky, but. Um, no, again, a good episode, good plot development as well. Um, yeah. Saw a and bit we got more... a nice little uh, ending. I don't know if you want to jump that far ahead yet. Well, but, uh... y- yes, that 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 was sick. I will we'll we'll get to that bit in a minute. But um, the uh, we've got a bit more <laughs> of an idea behind <laughs> the flag smashers and the uh, the main one who I can't remember the name. My God, what's wrong with me? Um, <laughs> but like her mother died, didn't she? And let me just let me just find it out. Uh, yeah. But yeah, we we kind of got a better idea of it, and also she doesn't give a damn about killing people, does she? Because she yeah, uh, nope. she just straight up blew up that building, is she? It's like a Carly, isn't it? Carly, Carly. yes. Well done. I've just literally found it. Well done. That's good. Good work. Uh, but yeah. Um, yeah. She just straight up blew up that place she didn't give a shit yep <laughs> he was like who's the guy who's the guy next to me who just went there's people in there yeah yeah <laughs> I, don't I, feel, I don't know if they're like i don't think they're brother and sister i think they're just good friends or yeah. something um but I, was, I think was he the guy that beat up torres in the first episode uh i don't know was he i don't know I, I, yeah well i mean he was wearing a mask it was quite difficult yeah. to tell but but i'm also glad we haven't seen torres still <laughs> I'm just glad, but uh, let's talk about the ending because that was that was a great, great reveal. Um, so again, spoilers. So basically... oh, but I need to, before the ending, okay. can we just talk about the scene when um they went to the bar and you know Sam was made that drink oh, yeah. and he had to drink it, and oh. the Winter Soldier had that sick scene where he literally just became the Winter Soldier. Zemo was like, he hasn't lost his form, has he, mate? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I yeah. love that, that scene. That was great. That just, was like, good. Smashed up like guys, like, smashed like, like up. old Winter yeah. Soldier. That was good. That was good. Actually, yeah, you're right. Yeah. I like that they're doing that now. Like, um, they had a scene at the first in the first episode where they basically in the past he actually had the long yeah, hair. When, and when, well, yeah, when he was actually, when he was Winter Soldier. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Killed that Asian guy. Yeah, who was who actually was like 
helping like his father, wasn't it, or something? Um, uh, yeah, yeah, no, in, yeah. He's trying to, he's day. trying to just because the the book was he's trying to tell him that it was him who killed his son, but he hasn't told him yet. Yeah, but yeah, but um, yeah, yeah, he hasn't. He because he was going to, but then he didn't. Um, and then but you yeah. had that scene where he basically pretended to be Winter Soldier again, yeah, which was, is sick. sick. And then we're gonna, mm. and then I feel like we actually are gonna get a scene where he just goes full hammer, hammer blow on people as Bucky, which is gonna be sick. Um, mm. But um, yeah, the book is obviously people that he's, uh, is people, are, sorry, it's of people that he's wronged in the past as Winter Soldier, and he's just trying to, uh, you know, help them in some way in the in the present um, as Zemo. Mm. How did, how did Zemo steal that? Can, can I can we just ask how did I Zemo get that? Because <laughs> because it wasn't revealed at all. There was no there was no hint at that. It was just straight up. Oh, I've got your book gut, mate. <laughs> but, I thought like Zemo got out of prison pretty easily, considering how dangerous he is. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Well, like, he, he, uh, he nicked the gun, didn't he? And then he shot the guy. So yeah. that's interesting. So clearly, yeah, yeah. Well, he nicked the gun, didn't he? And then he shot the guy. So that's interesting. So clearly. Will there be any more super soldiers here? Who knows? Well, the the flag smashers only are the only ones that have it now, aren't they? Yeah, I want to learn more about the old Winter Soldiers from like that we saw in um oh the, uh, the civil yeah was the, it civil wars yeah, yeah 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 the five yeah. the five other ones yeah, yeah they said think. like take a whole country down in one night you'll never see them coming like, I want to I want to learn more yeah. about like t- talk more about the original ones obviously they're all frozen now or blown they, up or no, whatever they, they died they died because Zemo um, shot them when they, when they were um frozen yeah. Like his, he has like he's 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 kind of insane, but he has a code where he basically wants the same thing as Bucky and Sam at this point. So well, yeah, he yeah he they want the same thing. They don't want any more super soldiers. But I just think their approach, their the way that they want to approach it is different. Yeah, or execute. Yeah. It. Um, but yeah, let are we are we happy to now move on to the ending? Yeah, let's do it. Okay, so spoilers again, but the ending was sick because. Mm. Uh, basically, it was then. You heard that music, and then you were like, "Oh, oh yeah, shit!" Yeah, I was like, "Oh my god!" <laughs> but um, so basically, they were they were heading to another place, um, and then Bucky, all of a sudden, was like, oh, "I'm gonna just go for a walk for a bit. I'll catch up with you guys." And we were like, mm. "Okay, what's going on?" And then he picks up this metal ball. Possibly, I had a, you know, what I thought when they saw him, you know, when um Martin Freeman's character. And yeah. he had that back injury, and they put those balls in his back to stabilize him. Was that? Is that? Remember? Was it him who had those? He had those in when? What? And they, um, they put something in his back so he could um, like basically stay alive. They were like little balls or something, made of like vibranium. I, I, don't, uh, I don't remember that. I don't remember that. And they basically stuck him in the. Uh, I'm not gonna lie, Charlie. Keep cutting out. Sorted him out. <laughs> you keep cutting out, Charlie, a bit, but it's fine. Um. Oh, yeah, yeah, I, I got, I got, I got the no, no. For me, for me, you were. I got, like for oh, like, right, a couple okay. of seconds, you were just cut off, but it's fine. Yeah, um, but I got the just a bit. But yeah, basically, Wakanda ain't happy with Baron Zemo, and they've come to get him. Um, that 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 was that was a sick reveal, I think. I think because no, it wasn't ex- yeah. it wasn't anticipated, it wasn't expected, and all of a sudden, bam! Yeah, it was great. It was. You got to think like they never actually had. Wakandans never actually like captured like Zemo, did they? They just he just got imprisoned, and but the Black Panther was yeah, Black obviously Panther, with him. And he said, "Yeah, I'm done like vengeance, like stole it, yeah. consuming me and yeah. that." And then he obviously he was about to shoot himself in the head, and he stopped him, and yeah. then they put him in prison. But yeah. um, Wakandans now, one of the Wakandans came back and was like, "I want Zemo. He's been set free. Hello, he meant to be in prison or dead." So yeah, now he's gonna. I don't know. So it looks like Wakandans gonna go after him. But do you think if um, uh, obviously? R.I.P. Chadwick Boseman. Do you think if he was still alive, that he would have been in that scene rather than her? That's a good question. Um, that is a very good question. I I would say no. I would just say no. I would say no just because I think it would be too much. I, I would say no just because if he was alive, sense. I think he would be in the next one or at least appear in it. Uh, yeah, I would say I think he would have made a cameo yeah. if that was the case. But I also think it wouldn't have made much sense. It would have it would have made more sense if it was somebody like her, mm. um, because they don't they don't fully understand what's going on. And because obviously, I don't think it would have made a sense because obviously, Bap. Yeah, you've cut out again, Charlie. Oh, 
I don't know, inform like Falcon or whoever to go and say, go and get him back. But obviously now they've actually broke him out like themselves. Um, whether Black Panther would have found that out or not, I think he probably wouldn't have just gone himself just to go and sort out because it's probably not that big of a deal because he hasn't actually done anything like, you know, considerably bad compared to what he used to do. Obviously he shot that guy, but he wasn't exactly good. But um, yeah, I think it would have made more sense uh, how they did it with just um, her. But also, um, but well, also that it was the fact that he also saved, like he didn't, he stopped him from killing himself. And I think that yeah, if funny, he came yeah. to be like, it would have defeated the point of that whole thing if that was the case if he came back yes and like, i think i think they did well around. with that no yeah yeah definitely um good yeah, i think we might point. i think we might get to see wakanda um in this or not because obviously bucky did stay there for a little bit i don't know if we'll, uh, it'll be a lot but we might I, get a, i don't know i don't i don't think we will i think we'll i think it will be just her and maybe a couple of un, other other people from wakanda but um yeah, I, don't, I think it will. I think it will be mainly set in, in not well, not in Wakanda. I don't. I, I, it wouldn't make sense for for it to just all of a sudden go to Wakanda for some reason. Um, yeah, just all this stuff just makes me wonder, like how how they're gonna like film. Obviously, they basically said what's gonna happen with Black Panther two. Yeah. it's just gonna be tell us about just like Wakanda more and just in more depth and things. So mm-hmm. it's not really gonna be a Black Panther film like it was originally going to be. But um, you never know. It could be there could be some new villain or something within Wakanda. Yeah, or be... another Wakanda is just like hell no, not today. Yeah, it will like be interesting. Longer, but, it will um, be it will be interesting to see how they how uh, do they bring back well, Michael I, I, B. Jordan or not? I don't know. Well, it will just be interesting to see how they how they uh yeah do it really um um but they did bring michael back then it'll be a big surprise but i'm not saying it's gonna happen but no yeah i, don't know. I would like it to happen but i, I don't think, want it I to think be that's what the new the... black panther i think that is chabot bones role you oh yeah no him. no yeah yeah I, agreed. Cast him. Agreed. I just think there will just be a new black yeah panther i think king. I it think... won't be a new yeah black yeah panther. if if it if it was that um Michael you B. never actually got to see Michael B. Jordan dead. He, you just saw him like dying. So I don't know. Maybe well, no, you they did. saved him. No, you just, did. They no, make you, some excuses. No you, no, you did see him die. But like you saw you him like fall no, on no, the no, ground, no. but they can make some like crap up and just be like, yeah, "Oh okay. well, yeah, he, of course. he's but, dead." And but, then, but no, but you can easily be like, because it's it's Wakanda and they've their technology is like way above. Yeah, our one. but they, they could go down that route. They could to turn around and go. Oh yeah, no, yeah, no, no, no. But that's no, I just yeah, I think. It they wouldn't can... make the most of sense because it would make that scene like less emotional how it was, but it would kind of like demote that scene a little bit. Just if they just said, "Oh, by the way, we just got him rushing downstairs to my sister quickly. He fixed him up, and he's just in prison." We're good. But no, 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 no. I don't. I think he is dead, but I think they'll bring him back to life. That's what I mean. Uh, yeah, I think and... that's what happened. And then they'll just be like, and he'll be annoyed that he's been brought back to life because he's like, "Why did you do that?" And then they'll be like, "We." Didn't... We, not yeah we just like we just need be new, totally for it we needed somebody else to you know yeah be our yeah, yeah be our hero yeah. you know maybe they um, go in the comics archive and just find something that happens and then they just film that i don't know i don't know yeah but anyway we'll we'll, we'll have to wait and see what happens i think that's going to start so next year isn't it i think that's going to yeah. start filming yeah. so that's going to be interesting so next year so it kind of has to oh, yeah, that's true. maybe this starts maybe falcon winter soldier is the black panther 2 base straight after this or something i don't know who knows with the timeline? The timeline screwed up because of COVID, but it doesn't matter. Yeah. Um, so what year is it really? It's five years ahead, isn't it? So it's what twenty twenty six. No, 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 no. It's twenty twenty three. It's still twenty twenty three. Oh yeah, this is based six. It keeps cutting out. I do apologise, ladies and gentlemen. I don't know why it keeps cutting out. He just needs a new. By the way, they brought everything out. It's all a bit, you know. Yeah, well, yeah, they, 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 I can't be helped. Can't. Um, there was something else I was going to add, and now I can't remember. That's really frustrating. Oh, yes, not much of uh, John Walker in this episode. No. Which, which I think everyone's pleased about because everyone hates him. Um, so, but, do you know who I am? Oh, I don't give a shit. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. He's like, I do, and I don't care. It's like, yeah, n- no one will care, mate. No one cares because <laughs> you're, yeah. you're not Captain America. You're not. We know you're not Steve Rogers. We know you're not got Super Soldier Serum. No one cares. You look stupid in the outfit. Also, how dare we spit on him? It's COVID, for goodness sake. 
Disgraceful. Get your grip, mate. <laughs> Disgraceful. Um, to be fair, he did make contact first. So, uh, <laughs> but um, you have gloves on. <laughs> oh, here we go. There we go. <laughs> um, but uh, it from what it's saying, it seems like it, it seems like they're going after Bucky and Sam because obviously they know that. Well, he they don't know, but they have a hunch that. I mean, we obviously it's true, but they have a hunch that Bucky and Sam have something to do with Zemo get, escaping, which obviously they do, but they don't know that it. What is, what's the word? I can't remember the word, but there's a term for it, but I can't remember. Um, but anyway, for what? The, for like the the something the audience knows, but the characters don't. I can't remember what the term is. I want to say. Oh. Um, I want to say. It's, yeah. I want to say. Let me just double check. I want to say it's this, but. I should have so there's all those bloody terms, didn't you, in, in English language? It was like, iron, iron, like irony and foreshadowing and all that stuff. Yeah, it's not it's not foreshadowing because that... No, it's what? not foreshadowing. Ah, I can't remember. I, I don't know. But anyway. It doesn't matter. They're not how, did, how, did I, how did I pass English language? Anyway. Um, but, yeah, I think we'll get more of them in the next episode. Uh, but, yeah, overall, a good episode. Um, halfway through now. Yeah, we're halfway through now. God, jeez, that's gone by very quick. Yeah. There's only yeah, by the time this finishes, Loki will start on it. So. Uh, yeah. When no Loki. Loki Loki's, Loki's in June. Is it June? Is it in June? Oh, I thought it, I thought it was in May. Released. I don't know. We won't, have, we won't have to wait too long. Eleventh uh, of June. Oh. There you go. So a month. No, no, it's never Just, yeah. Uh, but, um, yeah, a month and a bit. A month and a half. Give or take. Um, but yeah, I think I think I think because because we've had two series back to back, I think they need that little break, don't they? So fair enough. Um, oh no, to be fair, we'll get um, will we get Black Widow in between? Yeah, but I think that's got... they delayed it again. Just yeah, about to say. Oh, July, July, <laughs> fucking hell. <laughs> Okay, we'll, we'll, get, we'll, get it, we'll get we'll get it after we'll get it after. Well, no, it's it's over a year now because it was meant to come out May twenty twenty, wasn't it? So now it's over a year. Jesus, they want that peace. Um, but anyway, let's let's move on from one film to another. Godzilla vs Kong that came out mm. Thursday. Yeah, um, I watched it. Well, we both we both watched it on the day it came out, didn't we? Um, yeah. What did you watch it on? Did you watch it on? Well, you probably, I, I probably know what you watched it on. Um, <laughs> no. What did you watch it on? I watched it on Prime, Amazon Prime. Oh yeah, you have Amazon Prime. But it was a. Uh, I've got I'd... my opinions on the film. Okay, well let let's hear them. Let's hear them. Let's hear them. You want me to go first? Yeah, you go first, mate. You go first. Okay, right. I'll just cut it down to quite short, then we go into detail. Um, I think overall, um. If I was giving it a rating out of ten, I'll give it a seven. What our reasons are. Okay. Pros, the fight scenes are absolutely incredible between Godzilla and Kong. Um, I think they were they were filmed very very well in terms of the CGI and everything. Um, uh, and I think they were kind of like they were made so it looked like it didn't look sh- like some, sometimes in the past few films where they've used a, a masses of cgi they look a bit like terrible yeah. but i think they'd be really really good with the cgi in this film um i think i think they explained uh i think they did well with um tr- introducing like trying to create a multiverse with that gravity thing uh i can't remember what it's called but um yeah they um it looks like a, they're trying to build a mul- uh, monster verse um I I liked the fact that they brought in uh spoilers Mecha Godzilla yeah. <laughs> but um I thought they did they did they did they kind of did what um they did with Batman versus Superman where one kind of they did it exactly the same really one was stood like st- stood on one's chest and basically was like where's Martha or where's Mothra <laughs> basically did uh they basically just one but kind of defeated the other they smashed each other up though one defeated the other um, and badly bashed up, um, and then they one comes through, beats the guy who beat the other one, and then uh, they've got to come to save the day. So basically, spoilers: Godzilla 
basically in the, in the 1v1. Obviously, they had a few encounters before the bit where it was all in, you know, that place, Night Love, wherever it was. Um, obviously, they had a little con- thing in the sea and stuff, but they basically, I think it's, they said, it's, I think it's five years after the events of um, Godzilla and the King of the Monsters, and everyone's just like, why the hell is Godzilla um, trying to kill everyone? Everyone everyone thought it was going to be like Mecha Godzilla, but do it different with like skin and stuff. But, um, so, but that was going to be him, but no, it was actually Godzilla all along, but obviously, it was that guy that provoked. Um, the reason oh, why right, he so was killing Yeah, no, like, yeah, I, yeah, I got you. Yeah, he was like, "Well, I've done all this shit for you, and this is how you repay me." No, screw you. So he went and just started breaking up a few like aircraft carriers, like it was nothing, peanuts. Um, and then obviously he met Kong. Obviously they're both built to be like the kings of the earth. Um, they have yeah. their bits and counters. Very, very sick on the sea. I originally thought, um, obviously Godzilla is basically kit the sea fits him a lot better than Kong. I was about, so I was about to say he, he has one. the advantage. Yeah. Yeah, he won, but I originally thought he was going to win that one, but it kind of went, it was mutual and they kind of went their yeah. own way. Um, and then obviously they had uh, another small encounter, but the big one at the end, obviously, he had the obviously Kong found that axe at that place, um, which is now we understand because it was in the trailer. He then smashes up Godzilla. Godzilla ends up getting the edge over Kong. Kong's like dislocated his shoulder <laughs> um, yeah. and uh, he's badly smashed up. He's been scratched up by Godzilla. He's like, Yeah, Godzilla, I'm good, mate. And then Mecha Godzilla comes in. Um, absolutely beats the hell out of Godzilla, um, and I think they used the uh, fire breath uh, on Godzilla quite a lot, a bit excessively, considering it's meant to be some like ridiculous power that requires a lot of charge and mm-hmm. stuff. I think I think they used it well in Godzilla: King of the Monsters, but I think they used it just a little bit too much in this film. I know what you mean. Um, um, and then obviously. Kong is like, well, let me just undislocate my shoulder, right? Let me just get back, and then obviously yeah. that guy, he, he was dying, so um, because he felt his heart, and but then the guy put the chip on his heart, restarted it. It was like I'm back. Let me just shot on my shoulder, go and smashes up Mecha Godzilla. Obviously, the stupid, another stupid thing which I'll say in a minute, which is I'm going about the cons, and then obviously, um, he smashes him up. But obviously, the bad things about this movie is the characters didn't give two dams about them. They literally could take them out of the film apart from the little bit at the end where apparently in the most secure place on the planet is broken through by a couple of kids um just walking in a building like it's nothing and then they just act and then they just spill a drink over the security well, and that's it it was very stupid yeah i and, I, um, I agree with it, you on the um the way it happened like that they just spilled a drink and it's like oh yeah it's he's it's messed up his system it doesn't make any I sense get the place was- um Oh, Charlie's gone again. But yeah, I, I think that was very stupid. Stupid. But um, um, a character, which I think if they were to make characters uh, in this film, like they did, they brought obviously Millie Bobby Brown back and stuff. They didn't bring Charles Dance back. Uh, the Like he was meant to be the next big thing of like, a, he sold that thing to Apex, didn't he? Like the, one of the heads of the three-headed dragon, whatever his name was. Um, and but I thought that would be like the big thing in this movie. But obviously they released the toys back in like a couple of years ago um, of Mecha Godzilla, which basically spoiled Kong Godzilla versus Kong. Um, so with this, I think if the character I would like to the characters like they did with Kong Kong Skull Island. He's gone again. He's he's gone again. Again, I apologise, ladies and gentlemen. I don't know what's going on. It's never done this before. That's the infuriating part. Uh. Ben, of like in the past where it was like loads of Kongs versus loads of Godzillas like it was back in like thousands and thousands of years ago when like the, oh, it was just ruled by monsters like that's what I think they should have done like a scene of that and then they go and like find out more evidence and think of like the past of like why they like keep smashing each other up and everything like and who wants to rule over who they should have gone down that route and then that should have tied into the end of like helping out Godzilla and Kong defeat Mecha Godzilla. that should have been the film for me and I've listened to a few other people and they've kind of basically said the same thing um uh like movie reviewers but um i think they did well um in terms of as i said before introducing the monster verse um we have uh... what, what's going on okay i need to I mean, yeah, so, um they're they're gonna uh, obviously probably do a monster verse now but i think we're, we're getting there we're getting there. i think this film they could have made sense a lot of people said as well it could have made sense if they just made kong just the main character in terms of like no humans 
Um, they could have just, even if it was like not much, obviously Kong apparently can do sign language, which is pretty cool. But um, Kong, I think it would have been great if they just made Kong versus Godzilla the whole film. Like, I don't mind Mecha Godzilla being in it, but just like the whole film and just like no humans. Obviously, that's never going to happen, but that's what everyone wanted. Just the whole film, fight after fight, and just like backstory so after backstory. Shall I tell you why, Charlie? So I tell you why that would never happen? It will cost so much money because it's all just CGI and it would cost so much money to do. Yeah, but you got to go all out on you for the fans. No, fans. that's not the point, Charlie. Because the way it yes, way, it the way the thing works is the budget will be ridiculous and you've also got to promote it, which will be even more money, and then you're never going to make that money back. Oh, it's a film. Yes, you would, because there's everyone, they're going to make more money off the film because it would do a lot better at the box office because it would have been... And what people have watched. We don't know that. They can't. Tra- they don't. They can't mind. Oh, them. they would have. Been, trust me. No. If they did a film of Kong versus Godzilla and just them, because no one, no one wants to look. Like you can literally look it up any movie review. To be fair, two shits about the characters. They're terrible writing. Terrible. I know. So that, bad. I know, but you've you've got to. I've I've accepted that that's got to be the case because there's no way we're going to get a film. Where it's just Kong. That's what I'm saying. Like, just I knew we were going to have characters in it. You could literally watch the trailer. It's pretty obvious. Like, they're obviously going to have oh, well done, humans Charlie. in it. <laughs> obviously, they're going to have humans in it. But they're. But if they want to, like, do exactly what the fans want, that's what they've got to do. But it's not going to happen. Charlie, it's Warner Brothers. They never, Charlie, it's Warner Brothers. They don't do what the fans want. <laughs> Warner Brothers, they ruin everything. They literally that's just cancelled I mean. a couple of movies from DC, which I'm really annoyed about. I think it was like... Oh, yeah, they cancelled like the God, the, the God one because apparently yeah. Darkseid's going to be in it and apparently it takes place before Justice, the Justice League thing, which wouldn't make sense yeah. because it's coming it's out so afterwards. And it's like, what are you on about? We Okay, just say it's a prequel. No one cares. We've got prequel... We've got Black Widow coming up. Just because she's dead now, realistically, doesn't mean that this is going to make zero sense. This film, um, with all these characters, like, but you you haven't said like the previous Suicide Squad film, which doesn't make like basically. I think I, uh, just to, about to say, I don't think it really means anything that film anymore. I think in kind of... that in that timeline, but you just in this film, you just imagine it doesn't, but it still happened. Right, if you went to talk to Margot Robbie's character Harley Quinn in this film, she would say that happened, but it, they just. Because it did happen in basically said, obviously you would never know that, but but like it would in the in the film, like if that happened, she would because they basically confirmed that Suicide Squad did happen in the Suicide Squad in the past, but they just it's not like a complete reboot because it's based like not in 2016, it's based now, but it's all the DC is all just a cock up, but um they're trying to fix it um but they but Warner Brothers is and all that it's just it's just I. I'm not gonna lie. I'm not gonna lie. I'm not really excited about the Suicide Squad. I know we meant to talk about it last week, but we did, we ran out of time. But... I am I am because of the new people that they've brought in, like Idris Elba, and that they did originally they were originally going to make Idris Elba Deadshot, but they basically said no, we're going to make you a new character, like Deadshot, but not quite Deadshot. Um, and they apparently the obviously even though Will Smith, well you never know, they're necessarily keeping it really secret, and he just appears as a cameo, but I doubt it. Um, but the, Will Smith is still Deadshot in DC, but they just um, I haven't agreed for him to come back yet, but um, he might do. But obviously, apparently now, um, I was talking to one of my cousins. Like he's basically said that he's read or whatever that um, the Ben Affleck series, uh, Ben Affleck HBO Max series, is in the works as Batman, which would be sick. Um, maybe even a movie, uh, just a solo one, because he does need a solo Batman. Uh, we, movie. We, but it's been discussed ever since Batman v Superman. He ain't gonna get one. He ain't gonna get a movie. It's been discussed since Batman vs Superman. Went on about I, I I like I think I said like we should get a Batman. Yeah, you said uh, you should get a Batman film. Batman, uh, they'll probably do a HBO Max so, Batman, yeah. Batman, Batman series, and then you said, which and would then be you sick. Said, and then even a film, and I and then I said we won't get a film because they've talked about it since Batman v Superman about a Ben Affleck film, and that has apparently always been in the works, but it's never actually materialised because they've been constantly. Yeah, they, they, it's not really good because it's like obviously they had the Justice League that came out the following year, and it always just went tits up because Zack yeah. Snyder was meant to do it all, and then obviously what happened to him happened to him, um, and then it all went. F- just flying in the air and nothing's happened really since 2017 like obviously you've got Aquaman Shazam and that but obviously who cares about Shazam and oh, shit like I, that so can I point out as well quickly before we go back to Converse, uh, Godzilla vs Con I have I did yeah. watch uh, the other day as well Wonder Woman 1987 I think it was I think that's 84 was. 84 close enough um, well. <laughs> uh, but I did yeah, watch, I saw that I when it came it. out it wasn't it was crap 
Oh, I, I didn't mind it, to be fair. I didn't mind it. I quite enjoyed it. I only said it was crap because of the first one was so good, it made the second one look crap, and the the the, the enemy in it is a bit pathetic. Like, a, a stone. Like, a stone that makes everything, like, luck. Yeah, that I sounds get something it. from a crappy animation. That was I get it, I get perfect. it. But... For Wonder Woman, this is her main villain in the film. Are you taking the piss? And he's not really a villain, is he? He's just a guy who's like, yay, I've got lots of money. Um, oh, it was just a bit stupid, really. It was just, I think it was just an excuse for a film. I, I, I don't mind um, it. I don't mind it. Um, I like some things in it, but obviously the villains in it were pretty pathetic. Um, but anyway, um, but anyway, back to you back see. To hopefully, trying to get back to where they are. I'm looking forward to one. What one of brothers hopefully don't cook up is obviously Patterson's Batman. They're they're good at making solo films and stuff. Yeah. That but when it comes to DC, ear, it's fucking shit. Yeah. So uh, hopefully, we we get. Zack Snyder to see out his vision because all the tweets and the fans are putting pressure on them but obviously at the end of the day they've got the ones with the money they can choose what they want to do they can cancel films if they want to they can take on whoever they want to hopefully Zack Snyder can see out do Justice League 2 do Man of Steel 2 and 3 do a Ben Affleck series just what the fans want but they probably won't do it no they won't but um, I would love for them to but do anyway, it back anyway to, back to Godzilla, um, versus Godzilla what do you think um Overall, I think I went in it with the aspect of it's just going to be a fun movie. It's just going to be something I'm going to enjoy watching. That's it. And I think I got that. Um, the action, like you said, the fight scenes between Godzilla and Kong were good. I agree with you on... I I think it went mutual with the first fight, Kong the second, Godzilla the third. So technically it's still a draw, which doesn't help the, uh, the outcome. Well, it kind of give a definitive winner. Like, that's all I cared about. It, but I didn't like, think it did. But it kind of did because he basically Godzilla basically like stood and like I, smashed I up his agree. arm I, and scratched I, him and basically stood over him and was like, "I've I've beat you." And Con was I like, know, yeah, but, you then, beat me. but then I could say that Con did so- well. He didn't do something similar, but like he he beat Kong didn't Godzilla definitively and... ever beat Godzilla. I'd say the fight before that one they did like there was a, there was like two parts of that fight and I think he did the and I think he beat him in the first part. Because the guy went, looks like Con won round two, and in, and I thought like, yeah, he did. <laughs> yeah, like he kind of like, he kind of beat. It was like he won. It's like boxing, like he like each one around, but at the end of the day, Kong was the one who got knocked out. Yeah, I, I, he I was one who gave up. Um, but no, I, I I agree also on the uh the 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 way that they beat Mechagods. I've already touched on this earlier, but it it's stupid. Like I don't. I don't you pour some water you just pour some alcohol on the bloody desktop and all security all system like the most secure system on the planet yeah <laughs> um just, oh, oh shit i've just i'm just used to pir- pirating videos and stuff yeah. oh let me, let me think quickly um what's your drink <laughs> <laughs> um so i quite cool. like I he's quite... in marvel isn't he, he was in deadpool 2, two yeah, oh, yeah it was fi- in fire fist two, yeah, was yeah. it so, whatever yeah you've yeah. got his australian accent or whatever it's yeah. from. um <laughs> I quite, I do I quite like that. I do quite like those three together. I thought they worked quite well, um, mm. in terms of like the comedic aspect and whatnot. Um, I think the the story, it, I don't know, it didn't appeal to me. I'm not saying it was bad. I'm just saying it just didn't appeal to me. Um, it, That's it, why I think my, I should have brought. They should have made more context to this in terms of like the Titans going at it. Like the humans should have had an arc where they basically find out like they did in God in Kong Skull Island, where they find out the history of like the Titans and why they fight and why they rule over each other. And that's why at the end of Godzilla, King of the Monsters, Godzilla's just surrounded well, by I all felt... the Titans and you're like, fuck yeah, I'm the king. Like I, I felt like I wanted they... them to develop that. I felt like they kind of knew that, but they just didn't explain it. Like they or they didn't explain it well. If they did, you know, like it, it, it just didn't seem like they kind of just fought, and everyone was just like they didn't really explain also... well why Godzilla. Well, obviously, we understood that the Godzilla got provoked, but we don't understand. I think it was a bit like for Godzilla to, to do fair, that though, stuff to that be bad. Fair, though, to be fair, though, to be fair, though, it is to pretty. Fair, old, it is no, no, uh, to be fair, though. <laughs> to be fair, though, what? <laughs> <laughs> no way! I thought you said that. Uh, no, anyway, um, <laughs> but no. To be fair, though. Um, I it's pretty obvious that he's been provoked because he's attacking a specific location he's done it again like it doesn't take a and then he's never done this before and he's attacked two of the same company's location it doesn't take a genius to work it out I'm sorry and he's like he's out there attacking people we don't know why this is his first time he's done it (laughs) 
Like it's pretty obvious that he's just that something's happened and it's been pretty yeah. significant because Godzilla's been saving your ass for yeah, years. Exactly. exactly. <laughs> and now he's trying and, to kill you. And then you're like, and then he 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 kills. I think it was only like twenty people, albeit yeah, okay, not we don't want anyone dead, but there were probably there were likelihood of them being um the people that were. Who's that other one? You know, the good-looking bird who got basically well. What? <laughs> That's the worst time for it to cut us out. The good-looking bird. <laughs> oh, for God's sake. <laughs> oh, Charlie, what's going on? He's he's cut out and he ain't talking again. <sighs> this is this is great. This is absolutely great. This is this is brilliant. I can't, I can't hear you, Charlie. I, I still can't hear you, Charlie. Oh, my God. Oh, there we go. There we go. There we go. Where, where, where did you cut out? You, you, you cut out as soon as you went, that hot bird. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, yeah. Uh, so, you know those flying things um, that they were in? Yeah. Um, yeah, so, like... Uh, her character... I, like, I want... Uh, I don't know. I didn't get her character because, like, she basically... Oh, for f- <laughs> he was like, yeah. nah, not today. <laughs> Just like, I, I, did, I was surprised Kong killed them. I was like, Jesus. I was like, this is like Kong versus Kong. She deserved like, it. She deserved it. <laughs> like, you bitch. <laughs> she deserved it. She deserved it. She deserved it. Um, but yeah, I, I think overall it was a fun experience. And we got the fights that. And I think the fights did enough to. Um, to entertain me and I think that's that was enough you know didn't give a crap about the human stuff but they were there and I dealt with it but anyway yeah that that, that those are my thoughts um, and whether or not they will actually I don't, I don't know how they will follow this up whether it be another they've got to like build like a multi whether uh, it be another Godzilla now. They, film like, Charles or... Dance has got to come back and so is the mother of uh... who knows Lee Bobby Brown's character. Um, well, didn't she die? I can't remember. I'm pretty sure she, she died. died. I'm pretty sure she died. Did she die? Because they did mention her. Um, did. Oh, anyway, Charles Dance. I, I was surprised he wasn't in it because he sold that thing what to was, Apex. What was, what was Godzilla King um, the Monsters? And then you, you like. So I think they assumed I can remember in Godzilla like Elizabeth Olsen and Doctor, Aaron Doctor Emma what was it Aaron Doctor... Taylor Jonathan uh, Johnson whatever his name was Creeper they both obviously did Godzilla and then they both did uh, um, Winter Soldier the ending and then they Doctor both Emma did uh, Age of Ultron Death uh, I was surprised they weren't in any future Monsterverse films uh, I think they're just going to make a monster verse oh, now. They, I looked it up. They said they've got no other. They've got nothing in the works, but they don't, they're not going to end it there. It's a bit like what they're doing with the Transformers. Nothing in the works, but they're go. not ending it there. Doctor... I think they've got one going now. Here we go, Doctor. Uh, here we go. Tancredi. Doctor Emma. Doctor Emma Russell also sacrificed her life for her <laughs> ex-husband <laughs> and daughter. Uh, Russell distracts. Uh, I'm trying to remember the scene where she... Ghidorah. Ghidorah. Is that how you say it? Uh, long enough for so know, like, the wife, to get away. The wife died uh, in the first Godzilla oh, film. Go. I thought, oh, here we, we go. go again. <laughs> she, soon, she soon dies when Godzilla, whose nuclear power has been boosted by Mo- Mothra, unleashes a powerful Mothra. Uh, unleashes a powerful explosion and she's caught in the centre of it. So she's dead. Unless she comes back as a bloody zombie, she's okay. dead. Cut out. Right. Um, mm-hmm. But... Um, yeah, I think those are our thoughts on Godzilla and the Monsters. Oh, oh yes, I Godzilla. remember. Not oh, Godzilla yes. and the Monsters. Godzilla vs. Con. What the fuck's wrong with me? Um, but yeah, I think I think overall the fight scenes were good. A dragon head to um, Apex, didn't he? Or whatever. Um, at the end of the film, I was surprised he wasn't in it, but apparently I think they would just use him in no, a No, no, no post credit scenes as well. No post credit scenes. No, everyone was like, oh, what's but going think, on here? But think, they, they think... just said they've got no future projects yet but i think they yeah, will make enough. a monster verse now so yeah it'll be interesting. That'll probably, they'll probably do like a three four year gap and then they'll bring out another one yeah. or something yeah it'll be interesting to see what they do whether it's godzilla 3 or uh uh con 2 or 
or something new. It's weird. There's no way now Kong will have basically had is in Skull Island, but they kept him in this fucking dome. Like, what? How many years on? I think Kong is based in the nineteen seventies, eighties. Um, Skull Island. And well, then, we don't know if they. Well, I doubt that they kept him in the dome. For... 50, oh yes, but this is based fifty-one years after Kong Skull Island. So we didn't. We didn't really get. Um, context into he's on Skull Island but now he's in some fucking dome thing no like, I think no I think he was in Skull Island get there? no I think it was Skull Island but I think they just put a dome around it so he didn't leave Skull how Island how did the fuck did they do that I don't know <laughs> why are you asking me as if I know I don't really <laughs> no, know it's, I'm just no it's like a um, rhetorical question like how did they do that <laughs> um, I, don't, I don't know I don't know we'll, maybe we'll find out the next film we definitely won't um, nope but yeah, is there anything else you want to add, Charlie? Um, um, in terms of film-wise, you know, what's going to be out? Anything coming out soon that we can? Uh, let me have a talk about or review. Uh, um, obviously, uh, we, Black Widow was meant to come out in March, wasn't it? And we're like, yeah, we'll review that. Have to wait another no, three, we're, four no, months. Black Widow Fuck was you. meant to come out in Black, Black Widow was meant to come out in March. Come out in no, it was originally going to come out in March, and they delayed it again. It wasn't. It was. I swear it was. It was. May. They, they, no, they did. They was originally meant to come out May 2020. Then they delayed it to November 2020, and then they delayed it to May 2021. And I thought they delayed, delayed it to like March for like a week, and then like, no, fuck off. We were doing it May instead. Oh, I don't know. Maybe they did. Then if it was only for a week, then maybe they did. I don't know. I don't think it was long. I can't remember. I need to go back, but I could have sworn it was March as well. But anyway, doesn't matter. It doesn't it's now. now July. So who, July. Who Bloody July. Who Thank you very much. They need the money. So it's fine. Um. Oh, they don't need fucking money. They've got bags. I know they do. Um, but yeah, um, I've got really nothing else to add. So shall, shall we end it there? Because we've done a, yeah. we've done a, we've done a couple we of long episodes. Uh, a fat the one last week. We did a fat so. one last week. We did quite a big one the week before as well. So we'll yeah. keep it a bit short this week. Because um, again, there's not really much to talk about except Falcon with Soldier and Godzilla vs. Combat. Yeah. Um, next um, week, but class. Falcon Winter Soldier was a very, very solid episode overall. Yes. Halfway through, and I'm looking forward to the next episode. What's going to happen with obviously Wakandans and that? How big a role sick. they will play in the future episodes, or by the end, yeah. whether we'll get some secret cameos or something, or we'll just get um, like we did with um, One Division, um, where there was a few like like small like cameos mm-hmm. to significant characters, but nothing major. Yeah. But it's mainly focused on the um, arcs of the main characters in Bucky and Sam and Zemo. Um, with uh, Godzilla vs. Kong, um, I thought it was a good film. We've obviously, Sean, uh, expressed our thoughts. Please let us know exactly what you think, whether you agree with us, disagree with us, what you liked, what you didn't like, and if you yes. think there'll be a monster verse and what will happen in the future of those films. And do let us know if there's anything we've missed and that you want us to talk about or anything like that. Please do, because we have got no idea what to talk about in these. Um, but yeah. Uh, anyway, thank you everybody so much for watching. Uh, leave a like on the video if you did. Subscribe down below and, and hit that notification bell so you know when the episodes are live. And again, like Charlie Go said, to a million. We're gonna be we're gonna be dead by the time <laughs> we reach anywhere near. Oh, anyway. I'll be measuring um, us for our coffin. <laughs> um, but yeah, no, like Charlie said, comment down below anything you want us to talk about, any ideas, anything. Please, we need them. Um, but anyway, I've been Joe. I have been Charlie. And we'll see you in the next episode. Take care, everyone. In a bit.